This is a Pescador 35. They're built in Turkey, and the whole point of these is to be a very straightforward, simple, relatively low cost motorboat. So they're very practical and nice and straightforward in terms of the configuration, the engine and so forth, which we will come to. But we'll step on here. It's a 35 foot boat, so there's a fair bit of space on it. You've got a big copper area here. There is this fabric sort of sun top here. In fact, you can see the zips here. You can enclose all of this, so you can have this area enclosed if you want to. And then if we head on forward, I'll show you the interior first of all. We'll have a wander around the decks and we'll have a look at the engines. But you can see what I mean. There's not an awful lot to explain with these. It's just nice and straightforward. You've got big windows all the way around. You've got opening sections here and here and also here. And then a seating area on this side around a table and a galley opposite. This table will in fact drop, so you can make that extra sleeping if you want to. In fact, there are two cabins as well, which I'll show you, of course. There's drawers then down underneath here. And if you look around here, this one has got the two burner hob the sink, more storage down underneath, drawers for your cutlery and that kind of stuff, and then that one there is a fridge <laughs> with a boot show lunch in it. <laughs> there we go. If we head on forward again, helm position is here. It's a single shaft drive, so what they've done is put bow and stern thruster on, makes life an awful lot easier because you can actually push the boat sideways with those. Um, multifunction display is on here, the instrumentation for the Nanny diesel engine, and then again, all very straightforward and simple uh, gauges for your fuel, your fresh water, your black water, your grey water, um, and then obviously switch gear for wipers, horn, all that kind of stuff. It's really, really simple. Even the buzzer is labelled buzzer. Um, that's uh, an alarm for the engine, in fact. So if you had a problem with the engine, it would buzz and let you know. We've got VHF radio down here. We've got all of the circuit breakers. Again, just dead simple. It's just right there. You know, they've not tried to do anything at all flash with that. It's just perfectly functional. And for a lot of people, that's exactly what they want. If we head on down forward, this will drop us down to the lower deck. And the owner's cabin's up here in the bow. Again, it's all nicely proportioned. It's a good size. It's actually rather nicely finished as well. So it's all upholstered everywhere in here. It's not bare GRP. You've got the nice sort of headboard section up there as well. It's light wood, which makes it feel a bit more spacious. And then you've got storage down on this side, drawers underneath. And if we spin on round and pull that one over, we will discover more storage there and a hanging rail as well. And then drawers down underneath. Hull windows on either side, those round sections are opening sections, and then we've also got the hatch up above for ventilation and access. If we come around here, then there's another cabin in here, and this has got a double bed, and this runs back underneath the forward section of the main deck. These are all the canopies that go around the back, they just put them in there out of the way for the moment. Um, hull windows again storage again. It's all dead simple, isn't it? And there's nothing wrong with that, especially if it's keeping the price down, which this one is. Um, toilet is there, wash basin is there, and the shower then simply pulls out of there, like so. Little mirror just up there. So that is the interior. We will take a wander around the outside, put my shoes back on, nice big sturdy grab handles about the place. And then fairly decent side decks. There's a rail along the top, so you've got something to grab hold of as you walk forward, but you've also got this rail here of course on the outside of the boat. And again, there's nothing complicated about this. There's a searchlight up the top there. You've got a little stainless steel mast there for your nav lights, antenna is on there as well. And then the cabin roof up here. Again, these handrails on top of here, and this will bring us right up to the foredeck. There's power winch here. The buttons for that are there, and that one there is the anchor chain locker. There we go. And that's how she looks from here. Fantastic. Let's head back down this side. Again, decent side deck. That's the opening window section. 
and if we come right back here we can step down back into this big cockpit and this then is access to the engine Okay, this is a Nanny 270 horsepower engine. These are nice engines, actually. There we go. If we come round to the side, you'll see it a little bit better because you can actually get right round here. There we go. 270 horsepower. It's a straight shaft drive. So again, totally dead simple. Shaft is there, gearbox on the back of the engine. Not a lot to go wrong there. And that's giving the boat about 16 knots flat out cruising at about 11 knots and at 11 knots you've got about 400 miles of range now there are various engine alternatives in fact you can go right up to a pair of 300 horsepower outdrive engines which will give it 31 knots but to be honest for such a simple boat this simple setup makes a lot of sense keeps the cost down both purchasing and running and it suits the boat hot water tank is in there as well and we've got some of the tanks here for the fresh water and the diesel and so forth. But it's all nice and get atable, isn't it? There we go. I think that's excellent. I think that's really good. That's going to fit the brief for a lot of people. Let's come back out of here. Let's head back up to the bow. Massive thanks to BJ Marine, they've organised this tour, and huge thanks to all of you guys for watching, especially Donal, because it's his boat. I'm told the owner is a huge fan of Aquaholic, and his name is Donal. So, hey Donal, love your boat, and we will catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care, bye-bye.